Hey, this is Evan, um, aka Knives and Such, and uh, this is going to be my new YouTube account. Uh, the Knives, of course, I'll be doing knife reviews um, or other things associated with knives, and um, the Such meaning whatever else um, needs to be reviewed. I feel needs to be re reviewed, or uh, people request me to review them. I will uh, do any review. Um, but anyways, for my first knife review, I want to do my my uh, Kershaw ET. It's my uh, favorite collectible knife. And uh, I do really do like it. Um, I have EDC this, so I, I do have good experience with it, and um, we'll give a thorough review on it. Um, anyways, this knife is a very unique. It won the 2005 um, most innovative knife at the at the knife knife show, and for good reason because I've never seen a knife like it, and that's why I own it because I think it's really cool. The coolness factor is definitely a 10 out of 10. Um, of course, this is a very uh, I think it's an easy, easy, easy knife to use once you get used to it. Um, you know, you can use it just like a regular thumb stud, just like any of your other knives. But closing it may be a little tough, but um, once with uh, 10 minutes of use, perhaps maybe a little more than that, uh, you can definitely get used to it. Uh, let's move on with the review. Um, the the steel used on this is uh, called Sandvik 13C26. Um, it's a good steel um, for edge retention. Um, this is a high uh, chromium. A steel, stainless steel, <clears throat> um, and then after they heat treat it, it's a uh, very, um, it becomes very hard, um, high rock Rockwell hardness, um, not such like a D2 steel, which is uh, very brittle steel. It's not quite brittle. Um, in all my use, I've never gotten a chip or anything in it, um, but it has very uh, good corrosion resistance, and uh, of course, with any steel, um, there is corrosion. Um, it can they can corrode. You just not as as much as a um, high carbon steel, um, which can rust very easily, um, but a very good corrosion resistance and also very good wear or edge retention on this. Um, this steel is um, actually not commonly used with um, folding knives or knives in general. Uh, well, as used with knives, but not this type of knife. Um, this steel is mainly used for um, uh, razor blades. Um, high, more high quality razor blades. Um, also for surgical knives, which uh, because of that good ed edge retention, um, I'm sure most, most surgeons don't know how to sharpen knives too well. Um, therefore, they need a good edge retention on their on their surgical knives. Um, this is also used for uh, food industry. And uh, speaking of, I'll go right into uh, one of my points. This is a very good food prep knife. I've used this for a lot of food prepping. And um, we just pop out a piece of leather, a piece of leather belt, um, mimicking a steak or something. And um, I'll show you how good it is. Um, very good uh, chopping. Um, and what this is due to mainly is the, the shape of the blade. Um, very nice sweep to it. Um, it has almost the shape of a um, um, kitchen knife. Um, so it's very good. It excels very well in food prep. I'll give you a little uh, demonstration on so you can see how I'm making those the same sweeping motion as I would make when using a kitchen knife. So you can see um, 10 out of 10 for food prep. Um, I've used this cutting apples, oranges, anything in the, um, in the pantry I think it, it will be good for. Uh, one one thing I would have to to mention was would be that um, with folding knives, with all folding knives, I'm just throwing it, throwing this out there. Um, using this to cut an apple, you're gonna get juice inside your your pivot, and uh, you really want to make sure you clean it out good. Um, get a get a good flow of water going down there, and then also either blow it out as hard as hard as you can, or get a um a um can't can't think right now. Uh, uh, air compressor. Uh, make sure you get all moisture out there so it doesn't rust. Um, anyways, moving on with my with my review. Uh, that's a locking mechanism, obviously. I'll go into that um, soon. Um, the blade is a, a hollow ground, hollow ground blade. Not my favorite, but it makes for razor edge. Um, very good point. Has a piercing ability, almost like a uh, spear point, and has the looks of almost like a uh, modified reverse tanto. Um, kind of like the Benchmade 940 series, um, Osborne series, which is one of my favorite EDCs. 
has a uh, has a nice reinforced tip, but it's kind of far back. Um, the tip, the reinforcement is kind of far back, and then it goes to a v very brittle tip, which I think could break very easily. Um, but anyways, um, I do like the blade. Um, it's goofy looking at first. You might uh, need some Genghis too, but I do like it. Um, handle is made out of an uh, T6 anodized aluminum, um, and it makes for such a light knife. Um, the the knife weighs 3.7 ounces, which is I think is a nice size, um, a nice weight for such a uh, not a, yeah of course not that large of a knife, but for what you get I think it's a nice nice uh, weight. Um, this has um, actually a very nice pocket clip um, for those who like low riding pocket clips. Um, there's a few benefits to this. Um, number one, you won't see the knife at all. You'll see from here on up you will, that's what you'll see and by the way this this little nub which I think is stupid is removable um, I'm just not going to remove it because I don't use it that often and if I lose it I could um, lose value on the knife if I would ever want to resell it but um the pocket clip is a very nice pocket clip very strong it's very secure it's not going to be going anywhere um, it's also removable if you would ever want to remove this nut, the pocket clip um, it's very easy to remove. I thought it would be a little harder than what it is, but uh, very easy. Um, and uh, another nice thing about it is, look at the size of it. Um, if you would see this in someone's pocket, you would think they would have a little two-inch blade in there, not a three and a quarter inch, um, you know, knife like this. Um, so that's one one uh, other benefit to it is um, the size of it. Um, usually, when I look see a pocket knife. Um, sticking out of someone's pocket, you you kind of automatically think, um, judge the size of that knife by the size of the pocket clip. So, being that's a small pocket clip, many people will think it's going to be a small knife, which can be good for some areas. Um, anyways, nice pocket clip can be removable. Um, I have removed it, and uh, which leads me to my next point is the what does what can you use to take this apart? Um, you need three things. You need. Let me get in the macro for this. For the tor uh, Torx is a T9 Torx bit. This is a 3 16 and then again you have the, the um, T9 Torx bit. But then to get this old nub off, you need a T7 Torx bit. So this is you, you can take this apart. Um, may not be the easiest to put back together, but it's possible. And uh, now you know what you need to take it apart. Um, Anyways, moving on, uh, this has a carabiner clip, w which I really like. Um, that's one thing I liked about this. It's easy to take off and on and off your pocket clip, I mean your pocket um, lanyard or whatever you have. And then um, this can be used as a um, bottle opener. So that's one cool thing about it. Um, next, I want to talk about this. Um, probably the most important thing on this knife is the, the locking mechanism. Um, as you can see, there is a bar. That uh, that stops this from being opened, and um, it's very necessary because let me take the lock off. When you pull this out of your pocket, there's going to be some retention, and as you open it, your your blade's just going to pop right out, and then uh, there's possibility to cut you. Same for your um, lanyard. With, I mean your carabiner clip. It's, you try and pull it out, it's it's going to knife is going to come out. So make sure you get in, in a good habit of locking your knife uh, when you use this. Uh, but anyways, overall, I do like this knife. Um, it's really cool. The coolness factor is definitely 10 out of 10. Um, you know, for opening it, um, I think it's it, it can be goofy. Speaking of the different ways of opening it, of course you have your um, regular way, like a thumb stud, two-handed, and then they say that the technical way, which is like that, which I don't think that's too technical. I'd rather do it one-handed. And then close the blade, of course, you have to do it like that with your uh, um, ring finger. So anyways, uh, really cool knife. Um, designed by uh, a um, G and G Hawk. So uh, I guess it's a pretty famous knife maker, a very uh, innovative, clever way of, of designing a knife. Um, so if you want a collectible knife like this, uh, check them out. Um, they cost uh, anywhere from $55 on eBay to about 100 bucks. Any, um, you know, it depends on where 